Hello, I'm Caroline Magnus. I'm recording this in the Great Hall at Stokesy Court, which is my home. I'm making this recording for the Shropshire Virtual Show. It's such a wonderful initiative and I really hope it goes very, very well and raises masses of money for so many good causes. I'm really sad that we are unable to open this year, but I hope very much to be able to welcome everyone back either into the gardens later this year or, and hopefully too, into the house next year. Meanwhile, I hope you'll enjoy these short videos that I've recorded. Some of them were made earlier in the year when the gardens were really at their best. I hope that we'll be open next year. Stokesy Court was built in 1889 by John Darby Allcroft, who had made his fortune in gloves in partnership with the Dents. When he retired, he wanted to move to somewhere not too far from the Worcester factory and he bought the Stokesy estate from the Craven family and built the house on it some 18 years after he bought the land. Starting with an aerial shot of the house which gives an overall view of it in its setting. This is followed by a view of the gardens from the terrace and then a picture of the stables during the daffodil season. We come to the balustrading which formed the boundary of the old house that stood here. It was called the stone house and was pulled down when the new house was built. One of the saddest things this summer has been the cancellation of our Ludlow Fun Dog Day, which was organised by the Ludlow Rotary Club and has raised many thousands of pounds over the several years of its existence. Coming round the corner from the area where the stables are, the house comes into view but also the fountain. This is where, in the film Atonement, Keira Knightley jumped in. However, she didn't jump into the fountain in its present state because working title films built a new fountain over the top of the existing one so that it was big enough for this amazing seat. The house is large, but it's also a very warm and friendly house. I very much hope that visitors will be able to come back. This is one of the best times of the year at Stokesy, when the rhododendrons are out in all their glory. So I'm walking down the back drive from the stables towards the pools and you can glimpse the water through the trees and this wonderful oak tree on its mound which I believe to be an old parish boundary marker. Over the years we've had to spend quite a lot on tree surgery to keep this tree standing and safe. One of the lovely things we've managed to do this year, or the lockdown, um, was to clear this area on the outflow, of the overflow from the pools. And it was completely overgrown. We couldn't see this interesting structure that um, has appeared which I believe to be the outlet which could be unblocked or would have been blocked, unblocked and allowed this area below here to be flooded and the ice house is actually at the end of this area. 
Those who have seen Atonement may recognise this big pool because it is the area where uh, Kira Knightley dived in. And if you see the jetty over there, that is um, the... They took that down when they made the film and they built a structure which could then be towed out into the middle of the pool and they then filmed her diving off the structure. It was a sort of pontoon.